Hey, low riders. It's Lois. 9 p.m. tonight or 8.58, okay, Pacific Standard Time. I'm here to talk about part three of my series, Everybody Against Melody or Melody Versus Everyone. And tonight, the topic of discussion is going to be Destiny Payton. Destiny Payton. Destiny. Oof. That child came on Love and Marriage Huntsville with an attitude. She had a little bitty attitude that she blew way out of proportion about somebody complimenting her then husband's chicken at the time. So we can see out the gate that Destiny was going to be a problem. I don't know why anybody else didn't see that. She's a snarky type of character. And I feel that she came on this show with the agenda to be Miss Popular or Miss Everybody's Going to Be Checking for Me. And it failed miserably. She came on the show under the pretense of caring about Melody Cherie. And as time passed, we could see that there was not a bit of concern for Melody. Her allegiance and alliance was always going to be with Martel Holt. She uh, acted like the ops, you know, whatever Melody told her in confidence, she went back and told Martel. And Martel would use every bit of that information against her. Destiny acted like anything that anyone said was offensive to her. And she just would always just be tuning up her face and looking like she was ready to fight and carrying on. And... When she came back from season, this her first season, I don't want to say season one, her first season on the show, you know, it's like she acted like Melody owed her so much. Like, why didn't you check on me? Why didn't you do these things? Well, first of all, Melody is not your friend. She was becoming a friend. You were a friend, an ally of Martel Holt and always have been. I don't know what you expected Melody to do. You know, it's like everybody comes into her home and they make these demands. You're sitting at her table, eating her food, benefiting from everything that she has brought to the table. And you're angry at her because she didn't act accordingly. How the fuck was she supposed to act? You are a turncoat. You're two-faced. You know, you be befriended people that you knew damn well disliked her and was talking about her. And you thought that shit was funny. And you went back and told them what Melody said. You know what I'm saying? What kind of friend are you really, Destiny Payton? You know, you picking on this damn woman just because... She shines. She outshines everyone on the show. And it seems like everyone's agenda on this show is to go after Melody. Instead of actually listening to the blueprint that she was trying to offer Tisha from the begin. Nobody wants to say anything about that. Y'all are so busy up in arms and all this turmoil trying to figure out how to bring this woman down, not realizing that she is the chosen one. She is actually the chosen one. She was chosen by God. She was chosen by own. She was chosen by Carlos King. She was even chosen by Martel Helt. She is the chosen one. She is the one that everybody saw that could actually possibly bring this to a level of success that they never encountered in their lives or never thought that they could encounter. Melody is being placed in rooms and in and, and situations where none of them would have been able to be in had not been for Melody Cherie. And then Destiny comes on the show with this big ass attitude. And then you want to make snide remarks when y'all have a falling out based on some bullshit about her not contacting you. She doesn't have to contact you. You are not her friend. Y'all were becoming friends. You are Martel Holt's friend. 
And let's call a thing a thing. You were you would never meddle with these friends. I think you had an agenda from the begin to try to bring this woman down, and it backfired. It truly backfired on you. And then becoming friends with the ops, that backfired on you. Not sharing your life, that backfired on you. And I just don't understand why the fuck they brought you back in the first place. And why in the fuck is Sonny and Moses' relationship, marriage, or whatever it is that they have bothering you so much? When you clearly told Melody in so many words, allegedly, and in my opinion, on the internet, to get over the fact that Martel cheated on you, y'all have kids together, it's time to get over it. You yourself said that you and Moses were not together. And you know damn well you and Sonny weren't friends. Just like you weren't friends with Melody, you weren't friends with Sonny. You want everybody to believe that. And then you you go on these little tours that you're going on, doing talk shows and talking to people about how you've been betrayed. How were you betrayed, Destiny? How were you betrayed? You're butting in and out of people's business. You're interfering where you don't belong. And you're making yourself a part of everyone's storyline except your own. Moses and Sonny's storyline has absolutely nothing to do with you. The fact that you were not with that man and none of this happened on the show and they ended up together has absolutely nothing to do with you. So you coming back to confront them is just bullshit. You just want to have somebody to argue with. And you know your boss, he likes the motherfucking mess, so you're just going to go along with him. Let's go ahead and start some shit for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? is it? Do you not want better in life? Do you not want to prosper? You should be concentrating on Madani, probably trying to reopen your business or something of that nature. You know, I've, I've noticed that you have not, any, everything that you said that you do, you have not even shown that. You're supposed to be a realtor, supposed to be a singer, you're supposed to be a this, you're supposed to be a that. None of that is portrayed on the show. We don't see any of those things. So what was the purpose of coming back? What is it that you're going to be sharing about your personal life besides someone else's life? Because I'm, I'm willing to bet that you're not going to tell the full story about you and Moses' relationship. I'm willing to bet that you're not going to do that, allegedly and in my opinion. I'm willing to bet that your only reason for confronting them is because you're angry, you're mad, you're in your feelings. And it could be because somebody told you to be in your feelings about something that doesn't concern you in the first damn place. You know what I'm saying? You claim that you and this woman was friends. Well, if you and this woman were friends, then you guys have had conversations about that man. And it was probably already known that that man was feeling her. Allegedly, in my opinion, and in my opinion, it was probably already known that between you and her, that that's what the dealio was. But you want to come back and start World War Three about a man who really, truly didn't give a fuck about you. Because if he did, he would have put a ring on it. That's the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? And I'm starting to believe that the reason your marriage dissolved is because of your shenanigations with Moses, allegedly, and in my opinion. Because LeBaric just, he, he got ghosts. He said, you know, fuck this bullshit. You know, so you had to do something Really, really, really low and gutter snipery for that man to leave you with a newborn baby, allegedly and in my opinion. So you need to really sit back and regroup and look at yourself because you're the one that's causing all of your problems. And now you want to continue to go after Melody because Carlos King said, Carlos King told you to do that, allegedly and in my opinion. So you're going to be on there shucking and jiving for massa, huh? Making yourself look like a goddamn fool. For what? Because the bottom line is no matter what you do, you're going to look so dumb. You look so dumb right now. You're going to look even dumber. Dumb, dumb, dumber, dumbest, dumbier, or whatever the flipping dip you want to call it. You're going to look so goddamn dumb. 
Because the bottom line is, if either it's going to be aired on the show about your wanky behavior, or it's going to be aired at the reunion. And you literally, in my opinion, bring absolutely nothing to the show. You do not aspire to be excellence. You aspire to be street garbage. And that's a fact. You don't want anybody to think highly of you. You just want to just do what you want to do and just fuck it. D damn it all to hell. I'm just going to do what I want to do with my nasty goddamn attitude. You know what I'm saying? And you just d just going after Melody? For what? For what? And then sitting there hanging out with the woman that helped her husband destroy her marriage. And you want people to think that you're this good person. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm just willing to bet that there's going to be some more truths coming out about you from um, Moses and Sonny. So I'm thinking you need to sit the fuck down and leave people alone before you get embarrassed on national TV or fucking again. Okay, Destiny. That's all I got to say right now. I'll come back to you again later. But right now... I can find myself getting a little annoyed. So I'm going to go ahead and fall back a little taste. And then I'll, I'll hit you up later with some more shenanigations that you be doing. Okay? Lowriders, I appreciate you listening to me. Please tell me what you think about this video. And also, I'd like to hear from you guys what you think I should cover. Because I do a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I, I do my own hair. Right now, I call myself doing a little curly thing. You know, I had little twists the other day. You know, I, I did the uh, act, what is the hair activator and the gel, and I did it. Then my husband got jealous. He's like, "Go oh, do my hair," so I did my husband's hair. Um, learning how to do locks, you know, so I do my son and my grandson's hair. I cook. I really can cook, okay, because my family's from the south, and I started cooking when I was seven. My grandmother did not play. You need to learn how to cook. You know. Um, I clean house. It's a lot of stuff I do. So I'm, I'm open to questions. Ask me some questions. I am an open book. Whatever you guys want to know about Lois X Brundage Vance, I will tell you, I am an open book. And like I said, I am going to be starting an, a podcast in the near future, the very near future. And, uh, I'm going to be opening up more to you guys. And I hope that you'll be part of my journey with me, my husband, my grandson, and my son. My son's name is Brian. I call him Pierpont. And my grandson's name is Tony. And I call him Tone Tone. That's my booby. And I got other grandkids and stuff. But Tony is my number one because he was born three months premature. He's had asthma all his life. Eczema, he's gotten over the eczema a little bit. But he's always been a little guy. You know, so grandma always felt she had to protect him. But yes, guys, please get in the comment section and ask me whatever it is you want to know about me, and I will openly answer those questions. I appreciate you listening to me, and until the next time, peace.